What is going on guys? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to Obi-Wan Kenobi episode 3. So the first two episodes I didn't absolutely love the way I was hoping. I thought they were just okay. They were enjoyable enough. I had some issues with a couple things here and there. Some things were a little sloppy. Uh, sloppy. Like I think everyone was pointing out the Leia chase scene was really dumb. <laughs> Which, yeah, it kind of was. But I didn't really notice that when I first watched it. I kind of just glossed over it but then when I watched it again I was like oh yeah that's that's a little iffy um when I was watching it again in editing not when I was watching it I didn't like rewatch the episode or anything but I don't know they weren't the greatest things ever is what I'm saying and I really want these to be really really great so hopefully it gets better I, I again I enjoyed it I didn't think it was bad or anything I just I want it to be a lot better than what it has been just because my expectations are like up here for this damn show so let's jump right into this episode if you want to see the full uncut reaction that'll be my patreon which is in the description down below as well as early access to these videos don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so obi-wan just found out that anakin is still alive yeah and he is he is not taken that well i thought that was a really good scene oh please let us hear liam neeson's voice come on master are you there master Please, Liam Neeson. Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh shit, we're about to see him. Yoda! I don't know, hearing Yoda's voice just makes me happy. Me you will dream oh, this is just an old voice, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a new, new dialogue. <laughs> oh man. He's been looking for you for a long time. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. He's coming, master. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Are we going on Mustafar? Kenobi is all that matters now. Oh, the voice is great. Yes, my lord. The voice is great. I have been watching you, third sister. I know what it is you seek. Prove yourself and the position of Grand Inquisitor. So he speaks straight to her. Fail me, and you will not live to regret it. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so I kind of get her motivation. Her motivations were not clear at all, um, but I kind of had an idea, and it seems like it's exactly what a lot of people assumed. She just wants to be in that uh, Grand Inquisitor position, and so she's trying to please Vader the best way she possibly can. I'll be almost there. There's probably some personal motivations too that we just don't know about. I wouldn't be surprised. The Force. What does it feel like? You'll, you'll feel it eventually. Have you ever been afraid of the dark? How does it feel when you turn on the light? I feel safe. Yes, it feels like that. That's interesting. Who the fuck? Is that Anakin? Well, it's a, a vision of Anakin, I'm assuming, because obviously he's not just chilling there. You spoke to him yourself. He asked me to lead the hunt. Unless you feel I should follow your orders instead. I love the uh, the atmosphere here, the scenery. They're in like a aquarium type thing because they're under in the water. They can give us a ride to the spaceport. But it's not safe. Friendly. Oddly enough, this guy does seem friendly. <laughs> this is my friend, my father. This is my father. <laughs> hey there, I'm Freck. Oh, he's definitely friendly. <laughs> oh shit. Um, that's not good. 
Probably should jump off before it gets wherever it's going. Where did you say you're from again? Tall. Oh, good people now. Tall. They pay their way, listen to the Empire. Absolutely. We love the Empire. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, hop in. Meet my new friend. <laughs> Yeah, I guess random stormtroopers aren't gonna. Are they gonna recognize Obi? -Wan? I don't know. I don't know if his name is like or his face is like shown around. Like I just don't know how that works. Looking for a Jedi. A Jedi? Out here? I hope we're not in any danger. Oh uh, no, we'll find him. I'm just surprised they don't show his face. I mean, you think they'd show his face when they're oh they're looking for a Jedi? Well, let's show off his face. What? <laughs> it's not very helpful if you don't get to see what his face looks like. How are you gonna find him? You're just stormtroopers. You can't sense it or something like. You have any information about a Jedi? I would know one if I saw one. You haven't heard anything. Nothing. Are you sure he's even on this planet? They know what they're doing, Leia. You called her Leia. <sighs> I thought her name was Luma. Obi Wan, are you dumb? <laughs> that was her mother's name. Honestly, it is an honest mistake. I kind of wish they got caught and Obi-Wan had to kill him. <laughs> you knew her. My real mother, didn't you? It was just a story. The whole time I've known you, you've been hiding something. Are you my real father? <laughs> I wish that I could say I was. <laughs> a couple of strays I found. Thought you might want to check them out. Shit. He has his lightsaber on him, doesn't he? So if they like pat him down, they kind of fucked. Well, I mean, Obi Wan could take these guys out easy, though. Where are you headed? Uh, back to Tall. We have family here. We were visiting. Why would you say you were visiting family if you told the frat guy before that you were just going out here to see the, the scenery or whatever? You don't want to mess up your story like that. Yep. <laughs> Knew it. Nice. <laughs> oh shit. Let her go. Nice. Couldn't you just walked around it? <laughs> <laughs> they could have walked around it. <laughs> I want you to use your lightsaber already, man. Oh? Who's this? Is she working for the Rebels or something? I don't know. The Rebels even a thing yet? I don't know. I haven't seen the Rebels TV show, so I don't know how the Rebels get formed. I don't even know. I don't know when they get formed. Why do you do this? Risk everything. I joined up when the Empire stood for something. By the time I realized what they really were, it was... Oh, so she was with the Empire. You good? Oh shit, is Vader on the planet? Oh, Vader's on the planet. He's gotta be on the planet. Vader's definitely there. The Inquisitors are there. He's got a really. Oh! <laughs> Damn! Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Please ignite your lightsaber at least once. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Damn! Just snap that boy's neck. I'll be right behind you. Get it all run. Shit! Is he gonna run out and do something? I'll lead him away. Oh my god! He's gonna confront Vader. Is he about to confront Vader? There's no way.
<laughs> oh, this is good. Yeah, he knows Vader can probably sense him, so gotta just get the hell away from Leia then. Vader can probably sense Leia too, though. Oh! What the fuck? There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. It's happening right now? There's no fucking way. Is it a, you think it's a vision? I, I just feel like this is so soon. I thought we were gonna see his last, ep, the last episode. Oh, well, he's already running away. Come on, Obi-Wan. Now he knows he would probably get his ass beat. <laughs> he did beat him the first time, but now Vader's pissed. You know? You cannot run. Oh, shit! Come on, give us a duel. Give us a little duel. Just, just a little one. Come on. Holy shit. Holy shit. What have you become? I am. What you <laughs> made me. Oh, come on, Why are you being a runner? <laughs> I want him to fight him so bad. I know Jedi are defensive. I know they're not. They're not. They don't go on the attack. I know. He is just trying to, you know. Keep him occupied as long as he can. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. We're really getting a duel. Wow. The years have made you weak. More than episode three. I thought they would be saving this for the finale. I had no idea we'd be seeing a duel this early. I thought we were going to see a duel with, with Reva, maybe. I don't think we'll be seeing one with Vader right now. <laughs> this is so awesome. You should have killed me when you had the chance. <laughs> that was awesome. He wants them to get burnt too. <laughs> oh shit! Your pain has just begun. She's gonna get herself killed though. can't get through I mean couldn't you just walk around like there's a it wasn't covering that big of area it was kind of a little area <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't that long you could just walk around I think people in this, this show just don't know how to walk around things apparently unfortunately they couldn't make it but I'll take you from here okay well, that one was honestly the best episode for sure, <laughs> for obvious reason. Um, there still are some things here and there that just feel a little sloppy, and I, I kind of mentioned them in the video. Like sometimes it's just like it's just weirdly done. It's like they forgot that the characters could just walk around something, you know? It's it's a little sloppy, but I don't give a shit because this is still really damn entertaining. And obviously, the confrontation between Vader and Obi Wan is. No shit the best thing about this episode. I mean, everything with Vader in this one just got me really excited because, of course, we haven't really seen him in a bit of time other than Rogue One for that one little scene. Actually, I, two scenes, I guess. He, he was in a couple scenes of Rogue One, but before that, obviously, it's been it's been years and years. It's just nice to see uh, Vader again. And a lot of people were saying, oh, they're never going to meet each other. They're never going to confront because A New Hope was supposed to be like the first time they meet since episode three. But that was never actually explicitly said. That was just something we assumed. So this shows us that, no, they actually have met in between then. And I really loved the way they met. And I loved how um, the scene was done. There's just, like I said, a couple things here and there that could have just definitely been less sloppy. Like, for, like I said, for example, the fire, like 
the stormtroopers could have just walked around. Like, you got to make the situation make more sense for why the stormtroopers can't get to them rather than just having this little bit of fire that they could easily walk around. Um, and the rest of the episode was also enjoyable, I would say. I liked a lot of the conversations between Obi-Wan and Leia in this one. I thought they were really good. I thought I liked how she was asking him about how the Force feels and stuff, and he was telling her it was like turning on a light in a dark room. Like Stuff like that was really, really good. And we kind of learned a little bit about uh, Reva and her, her motivation. A little bit, not like the full motivation. It was just kind of like, oh, she wants to be next to Vader. But it wasn't like a very personal motivation, I guess. We might get more motivations from her later on. We might hear more. We might learn more things. But for now, that's all we know. And I think it makes enough sense for me to understand why she's so gun ho after Obi Wan because that's what Vader wants. Vader just wants Kenobi. She doesn't really, or he doesn't really care much about the others as much as Kenobi. So that makes sense. If you want to see a full uncut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.